What's up guys, hope you're having an absolutely epic day today. So tomorrow I'm traveling, I'm going to the Philippines for the first time, I've never been to the Philippines in my life. And I'm going for a race, I'm gonna be racing in a triathlon, but I'm also going to shoot. I'm going to a few different islands out there, I'm doing some island hopping and just going out to explore and see some stuff. Um, and I have a new toy to bring with me for this trip and that is the uh, Shimoda 40, Shimoda Explore uh, 40 liter, which Shimoda just sent to me. Um, I didn't purchase this bag, but I'm not being paid to do any sort of review or anything like that. I um, just wanted to make a video kind of talking about my first impressions of the bag um, because I definitely have some things to say about it. Um, I have a lot of different travel bags and honestly, the bag is, has become such an important piece of the puzzle um, as I've accumulated more gear over the years, especially having like a drone, all my lenses, a microphone and everything that I want to carry. That's a lot of stuff. And honestly, the method in which you carry it is super, super important. And I always seem to have like some type of issue with the bags that I have, whether the, the camera compartment's not big enough or the straps just don't distribute weight well enough and it hurts my shoulders after a while or um, it just, it's not waterproof. I mean, there's just so many different things. Like it's hard to get the perfect bag, right? And that's okay. But I'm super excited about this one because um, it's, it has a lot of good reviews um, and from what I've seen so far from everything that I've tested it is an awesome bag um, this isn't a comprehensive review I'm gonna do that but this is just a first impression so with that said I want to get into the bag I want to talk about some of the things that I like about it um, and first thing we can start off with just the way it looks right you always got to talk about the way it looks and honestly the bag looks good it's uh it's sleek I like the color it's like this dark blue kind of greenish teal color i don't really know really nice nice color um and uh has like these these brown accents you got some nice complimentary colors going on here it looks pretty good they're in some photography terms um and overall it just looks like a great bag it's not too big it looks good on the back and um so far i think it looks pretty cool in terms of the feel it also feels really nice like it's surprisingly lightweight it feels really I guess you could say like techy, like it's it's uh it feels solid, it feels durable, but it's really lightweight. I don't know what material this is, but um, feels like it's waterproof. I don't know if it is waterproof. So I'm gonna be bringing another um, like poncho for the bag to bring, and I don't think it comes with one. So um, I'm gonna be bringing that just in case I get caught in the rain or something. I don't want anything bad to happen to the bag. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice. All the straps feel super solid and um, everything feels like it's pretty durable. Another thing I noticed straight off about the bag was that the amount of handles that it has, which is great when you're traveling because we're not only carrying this, we're carrying another bag. And in the, on this trip, I'm gonna be carrying my bike, which is a big ass box. So that's gonna be tough. Um, but this thing has handles here. It has handles on the waist strap. It has handles on the top. Um, you can grab down here like it seems like it's a super accessible bag and what i mean by accessible is like it's just really easy to travel with there's a lot of different ways to grab it ways to hold it but then of course we're going to talk about the compartments and the way shimoda designs their bags is you do it's like a modular system which is similar to like the peak design bag the new peak design travel backpack which just came out which i want to get my hands on test that out but so it's got a modular system. So they sent me uh, the medium camera compartment as well as the small camera compartment. And when you put those two together, it's basically equals like a large camera compartment, which is great because I carry a lot of stuff with me. So if you open up the back here, you actually have this massive storage compartment in the back here. And this is the small and this is the medium just stacked on top of each other. Um, I can take the small out if I want to um, and uh, or I can leave it in. So I'm gonna leave it in for this trip because like I said, I'm carrying a lot of stuff, including the drone. So I might just use this for like specifically for the drone and then have everything else down here, the camera lenses and like other accessories that I have. Um, laptop can go here. So it looks like it'll fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro just fine, which is great. I don't need anything fancy there. So in terms of like this main compartment, I'm pretty happy with it. Everything feels pretty solid. The material in here is like, it's, it's hard, but it's, uh, it's also really like squishy, which is great, which means it can absorb some impact, but also kind of not just be crushed. Uh, some bags are like way too soft. They don't have any stability to them. So if it something happens, something falls on the bag or something, everything just gets crushed. You can also access that main compartment with the modular system um, from the top here. So there's a one of these opens up 
and then you can actually see those from the top. So if I, I can maybe flip that small compartment and then pull my camera out that way. I'm not sure I want to do that, but I can have access to the main compartment from the top of the bag, which is great. So if you do want to take those uh, modular systems out, and you just want to put like clothes in there or something, you can do that. I would never do that because I'm always traveling with a camera, but you could do that. And then I really like this top compartment here. This top compartment is like, honestly, it's perfect. It's just, it's really small, but it's going to be able to hold like all your valuables, like my passport in here, my headphones, like quick access stuff. And I mean, I say it's small, but it's not that small. You can put a lot of good stuff in here. Um, my power bank, everything. And it also came with these little straps here, which are going to be good for attaching a tripod. Um, and then I can put little things in here. They have a, a little netting thing here so I can keep some of the smaller stuff in there. I don't know, I haven't used the bag yet, so I don't know if these compartments are gonna be super good or anything, but just from my first impressions, it looks like everything is gonna work pretty well. Oh, and then the, another compartment here in the front, this is great because it's it's uh, goes the full length of the bag, so you can see my hand go all the way down here, so you could honestly fit like t-shirts in there, books, like whatever, man. It seems like it's pretty big, and this actually zips all the way down to open up that main compartment, which is pretty cool. But some of the other things that really jumped out to me and what made this bag stand out among the others, uh, first off is just the, the straps. They're super thick and they're super padded. And honestly, my biggest complaint with camera bags is their ability to distribute weight. There's a lot of weight in these bags when you're holding all your camera stuff. And I think a lot of travel photographers will tell you the same thing. It gets heavy and it's tough on your shoulders, even for a big dude like me. So I'm really hoping that these straps will help kind of distribute that weight. Um, so it'll be a little bit easier on the back, a little bit easier on the shoulders um, and just make traveling um, less of a burden in general. Another thing that I like are these little compartments on the actual straps here. I actually use these quite a bit specifically for holding my lens cleaning stuff because it's just right there and I hate having to take my bag off just to clean my lenses. So everything can be right here, um, nice and accessible. So first impressions wise, you know, not diving super into the bag. I like it. It looks like an awesome bag, um, totally fits my style. And from what I can see, it looks like it's going to be an awesome bag for traveling, for travel photography, and uh, yeah, not only will it hold all my stuff, but hopefully hold it in a comfortable way, in a way where all my gear is safe and secure. But only time's gonna tell. So I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm going to the Philippines, and it's gonna be pretty epic of a trip. I'm gonna be gone for like three weeks, going to a bunch of different places, and I'm really gonna put the bag through its paces. And then when I get back, you know, after I've used the bag for three weeks or a month, I'm gonna do a proper review on it, tell you the things that I like, tell you the things that I don't like. So if you're not subscribed and you guys wanna check out more about this bag, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I have a lot of other bag reviews on this channel as well. And then I'm also gonna be doing a bag review on the Low Pro 450W, which is what I've been using for the past few months. Um, and that's a great bag. A lot of content creators use that bag, um, but there are definitely some shortcomings with it. And I'm gonna be talking about that in that video. But with that said, thanks for watching guys. And I will definitely see you in the next one.